This week on Scam School, David Rangel returns to teach you a DIY book test that uses a deck of cards. What? Mashup time. Toast me, beautiful people! You magnificent bastards! Back again at the handlebar, we got Trey, we got Bonnie, and of course, old friend of the show, David Rangel. This sounds like you're about to do some kind of weird mashup of a book test and a card trick, am I right? I was inspired by your book test because it's too good, but uh, that's for like a show. Sure. And this is something I want to do like impromptu or on the fly. This will work with any magazine, and I use a magazine for this because okay. I'm gonna only use a two digit number. So I want to get down on one word, and we're gonna use a deck of cards to do that. Okay. And we're gonna use the first two numbers are gonna be the page, and the last number will be, if it's like, the seven will count down to the seventh word. But you know, to make it easy, if you get face cards, I don't want to use those. I don't want to be complicated. Get rid of that. We don't want there, a face there, card. There's no queen of words in this <laughs> magazine. I'm pretty yeah. sure. And I'll even go further. Do you want an even number or an odd number? I'll give you the power. I'm going to say odd. An odd number. OK, so what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you just straight cut the deck as much as you want. You can cut it as much as you want. OK. Oh you're, oh, you're cutting twice. Cutting ah. twice. Ooh. So deal out two cards. That's going to be your page number. OK. Oh, so that's See, that's the queen. See, keep going. See, your queen and draw another one. I mean, that, we wouldn't, nothing. OK. okay. Keep going. All right. Eight? Eight. Oh, Jack, you know. Deal out three cards. Three cards. Three okay. cards. Three cards. Three cards. Four. Four, seven. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let me write a prediction. Could be anything. Could be anything. You know what? I got it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick to it. First split second, I was afraid. afraid. He's like, could have been anything. Yep. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> could be anything. Well, I want to be sure first. <laughs> right. I'm sure. So go to page 47 and go down to the tenth can, word. Can I? I want to be the adjudicator here. 47. Which word? Ten. You. Ooh. Out of all the words, we got you. <laughs> we got you. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh, this is great! I cannot oh wait God. to learn. Give me a toast. Toast, 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 toast. And we're back with the Scam School Winter Games opening ceremony. Diamond Jim Tyler amazes dozens by getting into a box. The Ubering Home After the Bar Challenge enters its semifinal rounds, and a doping scandal rocks the world of Fruit Ninja. See if your favorite stars are affected. The only way to find out is with science. And what science say? That's right. It says you should be carb loading for the number one event at the Winter Games, registering a domain at domain.com. They make it fast, easy, reliable, and of course, savvy investors know Scam School gets you 15% off at checkout. You, my friend, deserve to be a gold medal winner, but I don't have any gold medals, and also this is a commercial. Back to you, me. The beauty of this is that it seems so totally fair. You have a random shuffled object, you have another object that's just grabbed maybe off the shelf, maybe from your backpack or whatever. I'm gonna assume that there might be something special about the cards. <laughs> But I don't see how, because it's totally fair. Before it even began, you explained that the first two would be the page and the second one would be the word number. Spill it, spill it. When I was trying to think of a method, I saw Michael Carducci on Scam School. Oh, this is this is Cy Stebbins. <laughs> let me let me work this through. Well, uh, uh, so Cy Stebbins is a cyclical stack that we've talked about before, where each card is three more than the one before it and then it just cycles. So now I'm thinking, the fact that you said, we're not gonna do face cards, it's all that, just numbers. That eliminates all that. It can only be three cycles. So what you're saying is, in a size seven stack, if you eliminate any combination of three cards that has a jack, queen, king, or ace, there are only three possibilities. It's either gonna be two, five, eight, or... Or nine, this is the best part. Because you think like, I gotta remember all these numbers. This is what you have to remember. 25, eight, or three, six, nine. Which is just one more than each of these. And then the other possibility is gonna be four, seven, 10. These are the only three options. So as long as you remember page 25, word number eight, page 36, 36 word number nine, and page 47, word number 10. And this is why you used a magazine because it covers the entire thing. So the even odd thing, which number are you referring to? The page number. So in this case, 
you have two odd page numbers. So if they say odd, you have to wait until you know what you're looking at to write your prediction. But if they say even, before anything happens, you're able to write that down. So what are, what are the words in this case? In that mag particular magazine, it was gonna be game, war, and this was you. Game, war, and you. And it was really, I, I literally just grabbed the magazine and thumbed through it, and those just happened to be the words. This is brilliant. This is brilliant, because we already know how to do a size step and stack. It seems super fair, and you only need to know three words. Uh, okay, Show, all right, let's do it. Hey man, you want even or odd? Odd. Here, I'll, I'll deal off a, a new outcome. Page 25, word eight. Why don't you turn to page 25, word eight. All right. And you'll find the word game. Whoa! Whoa! Dude, that is a delightful effect. Super easy, super impromptu. Anyone can do it with a deck of cards in any book or magazine. I say, you have passed the test, sir. First and foremost, gotta give a huge thanks to our friend David Rangel for slumming with us. Make sure to follow him on Twitter. He's the David Rangel, always up to shenanigans, just like yours truly. You can follow me at Schwood on Twitter. There is no C in Schwood. What I love about this routine is that it teaches you that the skills you learn from one discipline of magic are directly applicable to another. Remember, you're building up the tools and it's up to you to create the framework to tell a story that's gonna blow people's minds. Speaking of blowing people's minds, that's why what we're trying to do on our brand new show, The Modern Rogue. Jason Murphy and I are on a quest to become the ultimate gentleman, warrior, and scoundrel. Shenanigans and hygienes occur like this one. Is it charging? I don't know. It started to. Yeah. Uh, okay, here, do it again. There it is, there it is, keep charging. Charge my phone, charge my phone, continue to charge. Charge, charge my phone. Like this one. You're not cutting to it, are you? You're just, you're just gonna hold on to this. And I know, I know you're acting like you're not gonna, you're, this is gonna be how the episode ends, isn't it? And, and you're not wrong.